Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of dependent and independent variables. This is standard 6.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mauricio saves the same amount of money from his paycheck each week. So it's a stable rate. So that's going to be important for us. And then the table shows the total amount of money saved on based on the number of weeks. So one week, $25, all the way up to five weeks, $125. Which list shows the dependent quantities? All right, so now we've got to find the dependent, not the independent. So what is the difference? Well, we've been looking at tables like this all the way back since second grade and third grade. So let's take a look at this as an input-output table, right? So let's just rewrite this over here, give ourselves a little bit of room to work with, and let's just label this input-output because we're really good at input-output tables that's why they've changed them up in sixth grade. We're getting too good at input output tables. So, number of weeks is going to be our input. One, two, three, four, five. And then our output is going to be our total saved in dollars. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. When we're thinking of input output table, we are usually thinking of a rule, right? So how do we get from 1 to 25, from 2 to 50, from 3 to 75, and I'm sure you've already seen it. If we ever get larger, we're either going to multiply or add. You can look real quick. The adding's not going to work because it's not going to stay constant, but we can multiply. Especially this first row just kind of gives us the answer, times 25. So think of quarters. Two quarters makes 50 cents. Three quarters makes 75 cents. Four quarters makes a dollar. 100 cents. Five quarters makes a buck 25. So here's our rule. Is going to be times 25. Now why is that important? Why did we do all of this to find the dependent quantities? Well, in an input-output table, you always start... I'm going to draw this over here with the independent variables. That's the input. So the independent variables, and think of the word independent, whether it be the independence of a country or if you call someone very independent, they don't need anything else. Nothing really happens to them. They're on their own. So your input variables are always going to be your independent variables because they're starting things out. One, two, three, four. Five. Your dependent variables always depend on something happening to them. In this case, they're going to get multiplied by 25. So the dependent variables are your output. So if we look at this as an input-output table, then it finally gives us the answer. Our dependent variables are going to be these variables right here, the amount of money that he saved in dollars. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So that is going to give us this answer right here, B. So let's see what we can do to find these other answers. Well, D, none of these is just, if you're not really sure, sometimes that's the answer, but usually it's not. But every once in a while, you'll find that. It, obviously, we see the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, and the 5. If you're not really sure, obviously the 25 through 125 shows up in one row, and so this shows up in another row. So if you're just guessing the numbers in a row, you can either choose B or C. Obviously, we don't want to guess. Where does this A line come from? 26, 52, guess what they did? They just added in columns. So 1 plus 25 makes 26. 2 plus 50 makes 52. 3 plus 75 makes 78. 4 plus 100 makes 104, 5 plus 125 makes 130. Our answer is B.